Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and today I'm in my sewing room away from home. We have a new trailer and I'm getting things kind of all set up to sew when I'm away from home. So today I'm making a quilt block and I'm going to show you how I do it. Let's get started. This is my new home away from home. It's a beautiful Airstream trailer that um, I am enjoying very much. So I brought a minimal amount of sewing supplies, the basic supplies. I brought a sewing machine, a small featherweight sewing machine, a small cutting board, and I also bought, I'm trying a new iron that's lower wattage for the times when we will not have electricity. So I'm trying this iron out and so far so good. And later on I'll show you how I made this little pressing mat. I had a trailer before that this mat fit perfectly on a little end table and it's actually fitting really well on my cutting board over the sink. So this our block today is called lightning. I need two four and a half inch squares of that tan. I need eight small squares that are one and three quarter inch and then I need eight of these blue squares two and a half inches and to start out I'm using one inch squares in the corner and later on in the video I'm gonna change that measurement and kind of compare which one I prefer so to begin with I'm going to be making two blocks that are like snowball quilt blocks and they're part of this block called lightning I placed each of those smaller squares in all four corners of these four and a half inch squares to make my snowball blocks and after pressing them open I'll trim away the excess triangles behind. I'm making the other element of this block. It sort of looks like a flower to me. I'm using the two and a half inch blue squares and I'm adding a one inch square to only one of the corners. And then when I have them all complete, I will press those squares open just look like I did with the snowball and trim away. And then I'll put four of these little squares together to make two 
of the flower type blocks. After putting those squares in the corners, I now have little triangles in um, four of the corners and I arranged it like this to make that flower block. And when I had both of my flowers ready, I put this lightning block together, alternating the snowball block and that flower block. I was done with this quilt block I was really curious to know what it might look like if those little squares in the corner were just a little bit bigger I thought I might like the look better and I will let you decide what you prefer I am now adding instead of a one inch square to the corners I cut one and a half inch squares and I did the same thing I sewed them on in each of the corners from corner to corner and trimmed away the excess and here is my pressing mat right over my sink here um, with the clean dishes are drying underneath there and this has elastic around the outside and inside I have batting and some insole bright so it makes kind of like a mini ironing board for when I'm in my trailer so here you can see the quilt block the top left flower has the larger squares and the bottom right flower has the smaller squares. So you can kind of compare the two in this picture right here. And I'm making one more of those flower blocks because I'm gonna make the whole block again. And um, I think I kind of like those bigger squares in the corner. So I'm gonna continue sewing this together and get my quilt block complete.
Thanks for joining me today as I am sewing and camping, and I'll see you next time.